Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm trying to help somebody design a one-inch medallion for like a woodworker. And she's, they are having trouble finding good clip art. All I did was type in clip, clip art woodworkers. I only want black and white ones. So I click right here, black and white. I only want large files, so I click right here, large files. And I found a couple that I liked and I grabbed them off the internet. And as long as they're not really, you know, it depends on what, do you want it to be silly or do you want it to be, you know, somebody that's ultra talented and find out some tools. And also DA font has some tools and you can go even, I'm picking line art right now. We can go clip art and there'll be a lot more. So you can kind of filter your search, you know, graphics. Uh, clip art would probably be your best bet. But then, you know, you don't have to use all of the, you know, like that one right there is a really big file. That would work pretty good. It's not a very good representation of a hand plane. But I found a really good hand plane, and I just kind of used part of it. And it kind of gave me an idea how to build, you know, a medallion. You want it to be round, but all I did was take this thing and trace it. And the hand plane traced really well, so I just put two lines right here, use the Smart Fill tool to fill it in. I'm using somebody else's file, but I just filled that in and got that hand plane and I actually got, that's a wood shaving. And then you could do anything with it. I mean, you know, depending on if you're doing this for a, a good friend or a customer, you know, I kind of like this idea, but to me, a medallion is going to be a round circle. She actually said one inch. And I make a bunch of medallions for some woodworking friends of mine that they're going to inlay into their piece of furniture like at the bottom. So, you know, you could do anything in here and put their, you know, shop name, their anything in there. But just, you know, the way to search and, you know, you could... Use this saw blade and do anything you want to. I've got it at one inch right now. It needs to be a little bit less than one inch. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it equal, and then I'm gonna lock my ratio back, and I'm gonna go 0.95. Because then we're gonna take a one inch circle, holding on the control button, and make it one inch exactly, and hit P. So there's gonna be your medallion, and this is gonna be engraved. It would be pretty cool to have the saw blades. And I just got that saw blade off the internet too, but you could do anything in here, you know, their name and, and uh, change it around, you know. Uh, so really it's the key in searching and how to find stuff. I mean, there's thousands of Im images and you might get an idea. You know, some of these you can't really copy. Um, you know, like there's somebody, if he's a farmer, there's another saw blade. You know, you can, you could pick, you know, something like that. Not a very big graphic because there's a lot of them, but you could copy the image and paste it in there and then make it small. And then you could, with it selected, which is the key, get your crop tool and crop out that saw. I must have hit clear. Yep. Then you got that saw, but by having it selected, you didn't delete anything. And something that small should trace pretty well, outline trace clip art. And it all depends on what kind of, you know, woodworker there are. You know, if they're a fine furniture maker, they don't use a skill saw like that. So it just kind of really depends. And that trace pretty good. It, it's good representation. I would uh, ungroup it and take away that gray. But other than that, I mean, you could take this and, you know, if they weren't a, a fine woodworker that would use a plane, and I'm a woodworker, but I'm, I, don't, I don't use hand tools like planes. I use all big power tools. But, you know, you could take something like that, expand it, and if you're working in the center of the page, you can see what it looks like. And then this particularly with this, 
would, and you've already got two saw blades represented on the outside, so you might not want to want use that. But you can very easily text the path, uh, and you don't, you know, if you, even if you text the path, you could have the saw up top and still have text the path. I like the plane better. The plane is more representation of a, you know, a fine woodworker. But you could put their name in there, and you could actually, you know, do more than that. Um, I'm kind of rambling here, but let's take the saw blade and tell you what, let's take this circle out of the way. Let's take our saw blade and left click, right click. And let's do something here that would, would be pretty cool. And you got to remember it's a medallion, so it, it's going to be small. But put it about right in there and start holding down the control button. And then you could actually delete this line. Whoop. I didn't go far enough. Whenever you have a line that doesn't want to, it's going to disappear because you just didn't quite draw it long enough. This should take it away. Now you could type in, you know, uh, I'm just going to use the word wood right now. You could, and, and you could do reverse engraving on this, uh, which would be pretty cool. We can left click, right click, and then fill all this in with black using the smart fill tool. And there you have a, and if it was somebody's name or, of course you're, you're working with limited size. Um, you know, you could just have woodworker and have a telephone number. I don't know what he's using the medallion for. But anyway, I hope that gave them some ideas and thank you for watching.